Welcome back to Tom's Life. Today's Sunday special is jerk chicken with savoury rice. The ingredients you need are three chicken breast, two spring onions, one onion, one piece of ginger, two cloves of garlic, two red chilies, little chilies, sweet corn, peas, six mushrooms, one pepper, one tin of sweet corn, white rice, turmeric, sweet paprika, ground black pepper, light soya sauce, brown sugar, two chicken stock cubes and fresh thyme and ginger. First step to do is to prep all your ingredients. I'm going to start off making the jerk chicken sauce. First step is to prep your spring onions. You first chop your ends off. And then you, what you want to do is just chop them into medium pieces like that. What we do, what we're going to do is get a little blender and you're going to place all your ingredients in there and then you're going to blitz it together to make a nice hot sauce. So what I did was I chopped my ends off first and then chop them into four pieces and then you carefully place them in the blender. Next step, you're going to prep your ginger. You're first going to chop it in half because you only want a small piece. And so it's more easy to blitz down in your blitzer, hand blitzer. You're just going to finally dice it into little pieces. So like that. You do the same, so into four. You could use more ginger, it's up to you. It's how spiced you like it. So you just place them in the blender or your spring onions. So what you're doing is you're making like a, a marinade to rub into your chicken. Next up, you're going to prep your red chilies. You're first gonna chop your end off. And then you're going to chop it down the middle. And then you're going to de-seed it. So you take some of the heat out. Red chilies have a bit more sweetness in them and not hot. So you just de-seed the red chili like that. Once you have de-seeded your red chilies, you just want to slice them into four little pieces. So you just keep doing it using your knife and be careful with your fingers. Then you're going to carefully place it in your little blender with your spring onions and ginger and you'll do your other red chilli. But like what I always say when you have used chilies, please do not touch your eyes because they might sting and go red. So always give them a good wash. Next step, you're going to chop your green chilies. So you just take off the stalks. And you get all three chilies. And you just want to chop them in half. Keep the seeds in. But it's up to you, you don't have to. You just do the same way how I did the red chilies, where you chop them down the middle and take all the seeds out, but it's up to you. Then you place your little green chilies in your blitzer with all your other ingredients and you prep the other two, you prep the other green chilies. Next step, you want to press your pre prep your thyme. You will get a bunch of thyme. You want to take some out of the bag and you just want to finally chop it. You want the stalks too. So 
just give them a good chop and then you will place them in the blender you're just chopping them like this so it's more easy to blend down into a nice sauce it's up to you how much time you like to put in so you just do one final chop And you place it all in the blitzer. Now you're going to start prepping your filling to make your savoury rice. So I'm going to start off with the mushrooms. You want to chop them in half. And then finally slice them using a knife. So a nice slices like that using your sharp knife. i show you again how I did that. So you chop it in half and then you just finally slice them. Always be careful with your fingers. And you just keep doing it. i show you one more time. So you chop it in half. You want nice little pieces like that. And then you're going to get a mixing bowl. You place all your mushrooms in there. Then you prep the rest of your mushrooms. Next step, you're going to prep your pepper. You first chop your head off. And you want to de-seed it. Get all them seeds out. And the white flesh. give it a good tap so you want to get all the seeds out and any white little pieces of flesh so you just give it one more tap that's what it should look like when you have done it after when you have de-seeded your pepper you first want to chop it in half Put one to one side, you want to chop it again in half, you can either bring them both together or do them separate, it's up to you, and you just want to slice them, one way, turn them around, just want to give them a little dice so they're not too big so you've got nice little pieces like that then you'll place them in the bowl with your mushrooms and you do the rest of your pepper next step you want to prep your garlic you first chop your ends and you want to peel all the skin off once you have done that you want to get your knife and place it on top of the garlic and press down first want to slice it and then you just want to finally dice it into little pieces this will be your base for your savoury rice with your onion what you will chop next so once you have chopped your garlic into little pieces you're going to get a little mixing bowl and you place it in and you'll do your other garlic next step you're going to prep your onion you first chop your ends off I like to flatten it so it's more easy to chop. Put one to one side. And you're going to layer two layers. Of, you're first going to chop your other end off. 
and then you want to peel off. That was bad. Next step is to prep your onion. You first chop your ends off. I like to flatten it so it's more easy to chop. And then you chop your other end off. And you peel two layers of the skin. Once you have peeled and chopped your ends off your onion, you first want to finely slice it, not going all the way down. Then you want to turn it around and you just want to start dicing it. Just go through them again. So you've got medium pieces like that. Then you're going to get your bowl with your garlic and you're going to place your onion in there and you'll do the rest of your onion. Next step you're going to pat your chicken out using a mallet. So you want to put your you want to put your chicken in a little food bag. If you haven't got food bag you just wrap it in some clean film and you just want to give it a good pat. Give a little tap. So you just give it a good pat. Do this for a minute or two. And the reason why we're doing this too is when we, when we marinate our chicken and cook them in the oven, they will cook nice and quick because you have given your chicken is nicely patted out. So you just want to pat it out like that. It's up to you how thin you want to go. Then you get a mixing bowl, place it in, and just keep doing that with the rest of your chicken. So next step, you're going to put your hand blender on your blitzer, and you want to start blitzing, blitzing your chilies, ginger, spring onion, and thyme. And then you add in your seasonings of soy sauce, sugar, ground black pepper, and your chicken stock cube. So it'll start to get a bit loud now. So what you want to do is just want to start pulsing this. So once you have started blitzing it, you want to add in some soy sauce. You want to get your spoon and give it a little bit of a mix. You take out the blade. So you don't cut yourself and just give it a little bit of a stir. Then you add in some brown sugar, two teaspoons, just to give it that little sweetness and your chicken stock cube. Now you add in two teaspoons of brown sugar. Give this a little bit of a stir. And then if you're making for others, you have a little taste in, do you need to add in any more brown sugar or soy? So you just get your spoon. And just give this a little bit of a stir. Now 
Now you want to crumble your stock cube into your mixture. Give it a good stir. So it binds in. Give a little pat down. And just give it a good stir so it evaporates. Now you want to add some ground black pepper to your chicken. To season them. Give them a little toss and do the other side. We're going to make our savoury rice to serve our jerk chicken, man-made chicken. And then you just want to give it a good coat. So everyone's got a nice little bit of pepper. Just like that. And now you want to pour in all your sauce. All over. And get your hands in. And just give them a good coat. You can use this marinade to do jerk chicken. Or you can use it as a, a sauce. A spicy sauce. It's up to you. Now you place your chicken in a tray. You leave a little bit of a gap. And you just pour the rest of the sauce on, on top. You just give them another little toss and turn. Because what you do is you're gonna cook them in the oven and now all the juices will start to boil in the oven. So you're also cooking your chicken. And you could, when you serve, you just place the chicken onto the plate. And if you want some of the sauce, it's up to you. Next step, you're going to switch on the hob and oven. You're first going to switch your oven on. Using one of my bump ones to tell me which one is the oven. And you want to set this to 200 degrees. I have preheated that to 200 degrees. Now while you're, that is preheating, you're going to switch on your hob. And you want to set that to high. You want to get a pan. You want to set it on the ring. Let that heat up for a minute or two. Before you start frying your onion and garlic. Next step, you're going to place your chicken in the oven to cook for 15 to 20 minutes. So it's cooked all the way through and your sauce starts to boil. Bubble. So you place it on the top shelf, put it all the way to the back. Then you close the door, let that cook for 15 to 20 minutes while you're making your savoury rice. And then I will show you how to serve it up. So next step, you're going to get a chicken stock cube and I've put some hot water in a measuring jug. You're going to place your stock cube in and with a fork you're going to stir this till it evaporates. It'll just take a few minutes. I'm using chicken stock cube but if you're doing it for vegetarians you just use vegetable stock cube. So you just want to give this a good stir till it evaporates. So next step is to start making your savoury rice. You're going to start frying your onion and garlic. Do this for two to three minutes. You just want to give them a good toss. So you start to smell them. Going nice and brown. 
and they give out flavour. So you just want to keep moving them with your wooden spoon. Now you want to start adding your mushrooms and peppers. Give that a little bit of a stir. So it, matter, so it coats in to the onions and garlic. Now you want to pour some rice into your pan. And you want to give it a little bit of a toss. In with your onions, garlic, peppers and mushrooms. to get a nutty flavour out of them first and then you're adding your stock your turmeric and paprika and a little bit of ground black pepper before you add in your sweet corn and peas now you add in your stock and you give it a bit of a stir Get all the way around the pan so when your little bits have stuck to the bottom you're getting them up then you will season this with black pepper turmeric and paprika sweet paprika and then you add in your sweet corn and peas you want to add a pinch of sweet paprika and a pinch of turmeric into your pan and you want to give this a bit of a stir so it starts to coat in and give some flavour to your rice stock and vegetables Now you add in your peas and sweet corn, so I first add in my peas. And you want to get your tin of sweet corn, you want to carefully open it. Then you want to pour all the sweet corn in, and also the juice, they give us some flavour. And you want to give it a good stir. I've also added in some ground black pepper. That's up to you. And you just keep. St you just want to give this a good stir. Now you put your lid on. Let that simmer for five to ten minutes. So you keep your rice and all the sauce and your stock evaporates into it and then I'll show you how to serve it up. So once everything is cooked you want to serve up. You first want to place your chicken on one side of the plate here and then you want to put your savoury rice on the other side and then you want to get some of your sauce from your chicken and lay it on the top it's up to you if you want to do it that way if you like it really spicy but you don't have to and I hope you like making this jerk chicken with savoury rice don't forget to hit the like button share to all your friends hit that subscribe button where you can see all my latest recipes and thank you watching hit the like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe
More videos coming soon.